Well, Phil Rees is live for us in Islamabad. Phil, as I'm, I'm sure you remember when it was announced that Osama bin Laden had been killed, there were a lot of questions raised about whether the Pakistani authorities were complicit in, in hiding him, essentially, for, for so many years. Does this report reach any conclusion on that? Well, to some extent, to some of us who's followed this, that's the million-dollar question. And it admits that it found no proof, but it also says that it's out of its powers to be able to determine that. But throughout that section, when it discusses the Inter-Services Intelligence Agency, it seems that this agency, which is meant to be very powerful, is an intelligence agency, it seems to know very little. And there's a sense of disbelief um, in the report's um, discussions. It's even sarcastic at times. It even says Osama bin Laden was so fortunate to find every level of Pakistan's institutions institutions and security apparatus not doing its job properly. So I sense members of the committee believe that someone was complicit. In fact, they say, as we heard in the report, that there was a Pakistani base outside of those that were in the compound, but it doesn't answer who that is. Well, that's another unanswered question there. What sort of picture does it paint then of institutional failure in Pakistan? Okay, it's a shambles. It, it, it shows that basically every institution from local level, local government, um, up to the elected politicians, um, up to the military, which of course was asleep that night, and the ISI are not doing their job properly. But it raises other questions. And, you know, when it discusses this being an act of war, I mean, that's a very, very strong statement for that commission to make. It also reports that the director general of the ISI had, as it quotes, a political understanding with the Americans over drones, uh, though not in writing, by the way. And the report asks somewhat mischievously, um, is it official or simply unofficial policy um, to allow the United States to repeatedly attack Pakistan and kill its civilians? Um, so clearly it's addressing something which is a very potent issue in Pakistan today um, about you know, the use of the regular use of drones and the fact that it appears that the spy chiefs are, are working in cahoots with America um, about this. But of course, the politicians and others, everyone says this is appalling. It has clearly implications for many institutions in the country. How uh, is this going to be dealt with? What happens next? Well, I think it will have um, a serious effect. I mean, it shows that the ISI is the only institution that seems to matter um, in the country. I mean, the ISI chief, the director general, is so dismissive of politicians. Um, it's, 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 you know, it just shows who carries the power. In fact, he says that at one point he quotes an American official who says our politicians could be bought with a visa or even a dinner. Um, so, you know, there's this total disrespect for political institutions, despite, of course, you know, democracy taking place here. So I think it will force people, and you know, this will be chewed over for, for days and weeks, Sammy, but it will force people to really address what the constitution of this country means. And you know, it does lay bare the real nature of who wields power here, and it's not the politicians. All right, Phil Rees from Islamabad, thanks for that. You can get the entire report of more than 300 pages online at aljazeera.com. You can head there to read all the details about the day bin Laden died. You'll also find articles about the commission, its findings, as well as more videos. It's all at aljazeera.com slash bin Laden files.